Good morning everybody and welcome to episode 2 of Life of a Part-Time Composer. Today I will be walking you guys through how I'm creating my very own horror sample pack. Yes! Yes! Predictable. I will be creating roughly 30 or 40 original samples that are basically the backbone to all of my horror scores. The sounds include bowed cymbals, bowed electric guitar, bowed acoustic guitar, detuned piano strings, plucked distorted guitar, stuff like that. So in addition to recording these unique sounds, I will be doing a heavy amount of editing and mixing involving reverb, delay, compression, EQ, all that kind of stuff in Logic Pro afterwards, which I will definitely show you guys. What are you waiting for, huh? So without further ado, let's head on inside and I'll show you guys what instruments we're going to be using. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and start with the piano. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record both the piano itself played with the keys and I'm gonna get inside and fool around with the strings and I'll show you guys what that sounds like. So, by pressing the sustain pedal, like so. I would also like to bow different dissonant chords on the guitar as well, because they create a very eerie and screechy sound, which is gonna be awesome for horror when we add reverb, delay. So now as we head into the studio, I will show you guys the cymbals we will be using. Okay, so this one is a thin crash, and we have a Zildjian ZBT crash, which is an 18 inch, and this is, a, this is definitely a heavier crash. And to record the bowing of these cymbals, I will be doing a classic overhead setup with a dynamic microphone. This is an SM57 by Shure. And quick note for those of you who do enjoy gear, I will show you I'm running the SM57 just straight XLR through the bottom of my setup into my SSL2+. Plus. This interface also has this really cool feature. It's a legacy 4K setting. So obviously there's a huge improvement of sound, whether you're bowing percussion instruments or a violin, viola, cello, bass, obviously. You need rosin. This is a necessity. Hey guys, so here we are at my desk. I want to show you guys what I will be doing to two of the samples that I recorded. I recorded some bold cymbals and I did the bold acoustic. So I'm gonna take you guys into Logic Pro. I'm gonna show you how I cut the recordings up, how I edit fades, just basically how I manipulate these dry recordings and make them sound ready to be put into a score. As you guys know, I am a huge horror fan. I've been making horror films with my brother for years now. We don't plan on stopping. We're not slowing down. These films are just hard to plan sometimes when it's only two of us. So it's mainly Vin who's alone in planning the film. So I give him major props for doing that stuff by himself. If you've seen any of our films, you know that we are huge horror fans and we take inspiration from a lot of our, you know, a lot of cult classics. And that's why today's episode is a horror tinged episode because I'm making horror sounds. I've been in a big horror mood lately been watching a bunch of horror movies as always. Summertime is essentially Friday the 13th season. <laughs> Scream season. There are certain rules that one must abide by in order to successfully survive a horror movie. And I know we did last summer. They're all just awesome summer vibe movies. The horror vibes have been awesome and it's not even close to October, but here we are where making horror sounds, enjoying uh, the vibe of horror. So let's head into Logic Pro. So I have two tracks, okay? Don't want to give away too much. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the boat symbol and we're going to just chop up some of the recordings that we've got that are the best. So I have a bunch here, as you can see. So right away, I don't like that one. That one I do like. When you're chopping samples like this, you want to make sure that you fade in and out because with samples you don't want them to have a abrupt start or an abrupt ending because 
So before I edit anything again, I'm just cutting things up. I'm sorry, I'm speeding up a little bit. I just want to get this cut and dry for you guys. So we have three samples that we're working with. I'm going to narrow it down, pick the best one. Okay, so we have our bode symbol sound. Now let's just quickly pick out the acoustic one we're going to use. All right, there we go. We have our two samples. So first we'll add the fade tool. A little bit, trial and error once again. What you want is seamless starts and endings to the sample. Hello. That's what you, that's why you use the fade tool. That's what you want to get rid of. Oh. Want to just cut it out. And there you go. Personally, I like to start with an EQ. Just clean it up. Just pull out any frequencies that we don't want to hear. And this is all personal preference. You know, you could manipulate the EQ however you want. Whatever frequencies you do want to hear, you leave them. Whichever you don't want to hear, you take them out. That's just how I look at it. I do want to add a reverb and I want to add the delay. So I like, I love this plugin. Just in short, I think it's Ghost Choir. I don't want to keep the decay too high. I want to throw in a delay. So we'll use Replica by Native Instruments. There's a lot of cool presets here. Let's try. Very light. It's it's in there though. Just using stock logic stuff here. Okay. Let's hear what we got with the boat symbol. Here's a before and after. So here's before we did anything to the sample. This is dry. Now let's add in our EQ, reverb, a little bit of delay, some distortion. Here we go. It's very cool stuff being able to make, you know, a, your own unique sample like that. All right, now let's move over to the boat acoustic and we'll do essentially the same thing. Let's go ahead and use ROM for this one. Ooh. <laughs> this one can use a little bit of delay. Let's hear it before and after. Just dry, raw recording. Clearly not pleasant, but it's horror. So let's add EQ, reverb, and delay. Don't be surprised if you guys hear that in the next score I do for Buried Hatch Productions or anything that calls for it. Drag them in and use them where you want. That's the amazing thing about making your own samples and just like this. And I can always adjust it. Just drag it right in and through contact, even easier. Just go like that and you have the sample i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video i certainly had an awesome time creating these samples for you guys and showing you how i manipulate them and make them sound atonal and dissonant and ready to be put in a horror movie i want to thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking out episode two i hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and i'll see you in episode three